What's going on, everybody? We are back for another episode of F1 2020 Career Mode, where we start in F2 for the whole season, then we work our way up to F1 and hopefully win the championship, the driver championship, the constructor championship, etc. So today we're in Monaco for the feature race. We clearly didn't do that well in um, qualifying since we are starting 20th. Uh, but we're looks like we're running super softs for 7 laps and then softs uh, uh, for the last 14 laps. So I think our goal for today is to at least place and not die in the first corner. And also don't destroy our front lip the whole circuit. So, so we'll see how that goes honestly. Calderon just squeezed right in. Three wide, wow. So how was everybody doing? Oh, got to squeeze in there. I'm doing good now that I'm back onto doing some simulation racing. I wasn't doing that well with uh, the Logitech gaming software and Logitech G-Hub with uh, the whole wheel rotation and these tight corners, that's the thing. Oh my god. I'm not, I wasn't sure if I had my wheels set up wrong or what. I just couldn't get these tight corners I'd go take them at the same speed as the AI was. So I was definitely falling back on my practice laps. So that was a little bit of a issue I had to work out. But we're doing too bad at the start of the race. You gotta stay with the pack. Find those uh, overtaking opportunities when we can. Not getting any penalties, don't destroy our front lip. That's probably not the cleanest overtake, but I'll take it. Up to 18, it's not too bad. Surely you can stay in third gear through there. A little bit close to the wing. Oh, I gotta turn in more or turn in earlier, really, because I find that these F2 cars definitely understeer much more than F1 cars do. This is actually the first year that I'm actually trying F1 car, I mean, F2 cars. But I'm not really, I'm still feel like I'm not used to this whole thing. a little bit of a lock up there. The rest should be enabled now, I believe. No, my God, that was so close. I have to really slow down there. Also, I was going to destroy my front lip. Yeah, 126 is definitely too slow of a lap time. Should be getting closer to 123. Don't want to really get any penalties there. Woo! Damage to you. Box this lap. 
Boxer slap. Ooh, that wing. I'm going in. Oh, man. What are we putting on here? Yeah, we're definitely going to be falling behind for sure. I hit that uh, bump. That sausage roll. A little bit too hard and I just that just made me slide. So. Release, release. Go, go, go. Oh my god, I'm so far behind. I'm already on softs. I mean, it won't last that long, I don't think. Only one stop to go. One stop left in this okay. strategy. Okay, so we'll still have a set of softs. Come on. Really gotta focus now and this car let's get this car turning on these corners. Yeah, I just feel like this car is not that great at these tight circuits. Like when I'm on these long circuits like Catalonia for example with nice smooth corners. No problems. Okay, let's see what lap we can set now. Tire should be warm. Need to do an earlier turn in. Miss that apex completely. Okay, first sector is definitely my best this lap so far. Oh, supposed to be in first gear there, second gear. Not first. Still such slow ass times. Driver in front. Galeo is ahead of you. Our gap to the car in front is 21.5 seconds. They're on old super softs. Their tires are five laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 127.1. So we are catching the 19th guy, but we're not doing that. We're doing about a second lap. We can definitely go faster.
boards. Still can't beat 126, that's crazy. Like I've done 124 before. Ah. Mind that front wing. It'll need replacing if it takes too much damage. A new strategy is available on the MFD. Keep current. Copy that. Yeah, it's not too bad yet, so we'll see how it is. Trailing our teammate by 48.4 seconds. 48.4 seconds, okay. But we're down to 9, 11 seconds for second last place, so that's not too bad. I feel like I'm so like, don't know what I'm doing here right now. I haven't played this in a few days, but I'm still like, shouldn't be that bad at it, right? Giuliano is coming in for his stop. I wonder how much I can cut that corner actually. I didn't even notice that. And the, and yeah, the understeer in this car is max level on these corners. Driver in front. Calderon's just ahead. Oh, ahead oh. is fourteen point two seconds. They're on fresh softs. Their tires are two laps old. The time last lap was a one minute twenty five point six. 
The downforce is going to be next level now. Like my brakes almost overcooked there for that corner because I didn't think I was going that much faster. I was losing so much time. I'm like losing two seconds a lap. All because of that front wing. Okay, let's see what we can do. Even the broken lip, we should be able to set a better lap time. Okay, let's box for another set of softs. Oh man, it's gonna be a rough, rough race. Oh man, go, 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 go. Complete, go now. Yeah, we are officially going to be 19. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. You'll we'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. Okay, let's see what we can do. Fresh softs. Fresh wing. See if we can set a good lap time. Oh, 
Oh my god, I'm gonna get lapped here. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's see if we can set a fast shot to that 126 at least, because this is just bad. There we go, 124. Driver in front. Galeo just ahead, push for the position. Gap to car in front is 32.0 seconds. They're on old softs. Their tires are six laps old. The time last lap was a 125.2. Yeah, I think I can get into the middle ground. But as long as I get my braking lines down right and don't break my front wing. So we broke it twice this lap this race already. One was right there in that corner. And we spun out. By hitting that sausage a little bit too hard. Just shifted it on by to neutral there. By accident. Feeling the slides there.
Yeah, we're not gonna be catching that guy. Monaco's a tough track to catch somebody who's that far ahead. I thought Baku was a bad, uh, bad track for us, but Monaco might be even worse. I'm surprised I didn't get a penalty warning there. I, that was a big cut of the track. I wonder if it's the F2 cars which have so much understeer, because I definitely don't feel like F1 is this bad for understeer. And the first place guy was catching me so far. I just don't want to get lapped. I definitely feel like I'll lose a lot of time there because I'm not 100% sure how to do that corner currently. Final lap for you guys, and this is my second last lap. God, this is just bad. I just cannot wait to get out of Monaco.
Bit of a wheel tap there. All right, final lap. This is your final lap, the final lap of the race. Well, we still have a sprint race to do as well in Monaco. Hopefully we can... Uh, Stay within the pack and then move up swaths. As long as we don't make a mistake within the first few laps, like we did again, then we might be able to get some positions in. slide there. Well, that's 19th for us. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. Sorry, boys. Not the greatest race today, that's for sure. Brilliant stuff from Arden today. What a superb... Oh man. Well, either way, we didn't do that great. We placed 19th, started 20th, placed 19th, damaged our front wing a couple times, which really caused us issues. Um, hopefully, we can redeem ourselves in the next race of episode 4, part 2 of Monaco Grand Prix. This is going to be the sprint race. Um, I think our goal for next race is just literally not don't don't destroy our, our lip. Wow, these load times are ridiculous. I don't think I've ever seen them that long. Oh my, come on. What is going on? After there we go. After the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. It's a good result for Antoine Hubert, who moves further ahead. Where are we? The table. And now, Davide Valsecchi, let me ask you, who is your driver? Of We're still in ninth After for driver standings, team standings. Ooh, we went Valsecchi. down. Very clean, very smooth. Yeah. It can be really pleased. My teammates and carrying us. Look at the team standings. Arden moved to the top of the table. Meanwhile, Carlin moved up the table with another strong performance this weekend. The official driver of the day also did a fantastic job. But I have to vote with my heart. And today, I have to go in a different direction. After all this drama, you'll be mad yeah. not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. Yes, thanks everybody for checking out the channel. Uh, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell icon, and we will see you in the next, next episode for the Monaco Sprint Race, where hopefully we can redeem ourselves and not destroy our front lip. But until then, talk to you guys later.